Hey guys, if you like a good cup of coffee in the morning when you go camping, you're gonna need a great coffee press and I got a great idea coming up. Hey guys, Philip Long here with Sawback Gear where we talk about all things having to do with our outdoor experiences including rock climbing, camping, backpacking, and mountaineering. So if you're interested in any of those, you need to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. If you like a good cup of coffee in the morning like me, and you wanna take that same great cup of coffee when you go out camping, you're gonna need a really good coffee press. So what we're gonna talk about today is my recommendation for a coffee press, uh, the, some of the features about it, what I liked about it, and some of my wish lists about what I think they could make it a little better. So this is the GSI Java Press. Comes in three different sizes. Comes in a 20 ounce, a 30 ounce, and a 50 ounce for those of you who really, really like to have a lot of coffee in the morning. Uh, this particular size is the 30 ounce. Works great for my wife and I. Uh, we found it to be very convenient. It's the right size. It doesn't take up too much space and it works really, really well. So the Java Press itself is made out of a uh, high impact plastic. We've dropped it a couple of times, haven't had any issue. It's BPA free, which was important to my wife and I, uh, and it seems to be very resilient and well-made. The plunger action on the uh, Java Press is very, very smooth. Seems to work really, really well. It even has a silicone ring around the plunger that allows it to get enough pressure on it to get a good press through, but it doesn't allow for the coffee grounds to get by. Now it does allow for some of the micro grounds to get by, that's to be expected. The, the mesh can only be so small and still have a good flow rate but overall not a deal killer for sure. Also comes with its own cozy, which I found to be kind of fun. The carafe will slide in very, very easily into this thing because it has a small relief hole at the bottom which allows the air to come out uh, and it helps keep your coffee warm, for at least for a little while. It's not made to last forever as far as keeping it warm, but it will help. So now I wanna talk about some of the things that I liked about it. Uh, I, again, I like the cozy, I like that. I thought that helped a lot. Uh, it does have this little bit of handle over here that actually helps keep you control over it so you don't drop it, uh, which is also helpful for pouring the right cup of coffee. And again, specifically, I like that the carafe is a high impact plastic. We've tried all kinds of carafes in the outdoors, including glass ones, which was not a good idea. Even inside, when it's inside the car or something to that effect, you still run the risk of breaking and that's not good. So the high impact plastic makes a big difference. So as far as the things that I didn't care for or that I would like to see them improve on is actually the handle uh, is one of the things. While it does allow you to keep a grip on it, it's not really good for just holding on to. It would, might be nice to have a piece of stiffer plastic in here. It might help that uh, keep its form so you could hold on to it to pour. Uh, but other, again, not a deal killer. The big issue that I would really like to see them do is there are no gradient features inside the carafe. So it makes it very difficult to figure out how much coffee that you're putting in or how much water that you're putting in. Uh, if they had some gradient features in there, just some, even just some markings, it would help identify how much coffee grounds you're putting in there, how much water you're putting in there so that you can get that great cup of coffee that you're looking for. So my question for you today is gonna be, do you have a favorite carafe for the outdoors? And if you do, what is it? And what do you like about it? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't done already, go ahead and subscribe again. And other than that, we'll see you outside.